What's good guys? You know who is this? This is your boy Carlos, the Colombian guy. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. And today I'm gonna bring you all the latest updates about Medellin, Colombia. And if y'all don't wanna lose any details, please stay with me. Have a seat, sit down. Let me just go ahead, let me just speak fast because the passport bros are under attack in Medellin. In the last few days, the government has denied the entry of two American citizens that they are suspicious to have dory background or they are coming to Medellin to try to get all those service. So please stay with me. So the first U.S. citizen that was expelled, they say he was as suspicious to have a dirty background. Let's jump in the history. Let's read the article for y'all. And this is uh, like this. An American who intend to arrive in Medellin is expelled from the country. Why? The subject was carrying an alert issue by the United States government. Immigration Colombia denied a mission to a U.S. citizen who intended to enter to the country through the Jose Maria Cordova International Airport in the uh, municipality of Rio Negro in less than a week. Two foreigners had already been expelled from the national territory. Mayor Federico Guterres revealed that the name of this subject appears on the Angel Watch list, a database where criminal records are classified. But please, please don't leave because this is the second one. This is the number two U.S. citizen that they denied the entry to Colombia because he also is as suspicious to have a dirty background. Even if you are as suspicious now, they can deny the entry to the country. The mayor of Medellin celebrate Colombian immigration Missouri and of no admission of foreigners to the country. Yes, it was possible. Federico Gutierrez assured that the authorities will continue to develop the operations to prevent the entry of foreigners involved in those type of crimes. After Migration Colombia confirmed that through the weekend of May 18 and 19 of 2024, two citizens were prohibited from entering to the country who raised the alarms of the entity due to the possibility of dirty backgrounds. As for the citizen who was expelled from the country on Sunday, May 19, it was established that he has a U.S. citizenship and that he arrived in Columbia Territory from a flight that he took at the Floridale International Airport so thanks to the land assistance. Through a publication on his S account, Federico Gutierrez referred to the fact and assured that the actions are framed in the Committee to Protect Children and Women in the capital of Antioquia, according to the Burgomaster that are giving results. Once again, don't even try. It is a crime and we are not going to stop. This is just the beginning and will and committed where required conclude the mayor. Once the sanctioning process was carried out, the U.S. citizens was handed over to the airline on which it, he arrived to the country to be boarded in a return flight. And this is the proof that now in Medellin they also can kick you out from the country if they find out like you wanted to have some adult service that you there for women's stuff like that. They also, like I say, they can expel you from the country. This was the situation with this Australian citizen that was caught in Pakedera when he was trying to get himself satisfied. But they say he was breaking all the rules because the government prohibits those kind of service in Pakedera and they expel him out from the country. They have no mercy for nobody. They are not playing games. On May 16, an Australian identified as a Charlie Hardy was also expelled from the country at the request of the Medellin mayor office according to the file he had violated restrictive regulations. Apparently he was surprised by the Metropolitan Police of the Abu Rabeli at the time he was trying to request and satisfying himself in Pakeyeras 
despite the decree prohibiting this activity in the community of El Poblado. They already been attacking Pastor Rose in Medellin and they've been saying like they don't want Pastor Rose in Medellin. But I always been saying like there is like there is two type of Pastor Rose. There is one like they travel to have a good time with a woman. And there is other ones that they like to invest, you know, looking for, for opportunities to get an Airbnb, a restaurant, you know, clubs or something. So they don't want the one that travel, you know, the seek Colombia, the seek Medellin, like as a destination to get women, you know, all of that because they want to clean that reputation. And sometimes, you know, people get mad about that, but, you know, you guys have to understand like they had the rights to decide from the cell and they had the rights to decide if they want to clean the city or clean the name, you know, about that background with the gurus, you know, with the drugs and many stuff, you know what I mean? Medellin has been suffering for a lot, for a long time, you know, the violence, the, this and that, you know, Pablo, all of that. So they deserve, you know, to have a great, they, they, they decide to have a great city and to clean up and to have a better reputation, you know, Medellin, I think like, what they thinking and what they trying to do is like they should they they wanna they wanna be seen not just as a place you know to get women because it's a lot of wonderful things to do over there not just the women's and they already saying that they're gonna do their best to kick out those type of tourists you know what I mean like they say like they don't bring nothing positive to the city but I know they bring money to over there so you know money is something positive you know what I mean sometimes you know like. You guys have to understand, like, Medellin is a, is a city, like, they don't even care to get along with the rest in the city in Colombia. So, what if you guys are foreigners, like, don't expect to get good things from majority of the locals from Medellin? A lot of locals, they good. A lot of locals, they bad. And, you know, like, everywhere, you know, you have good locals, you got bad locals. And, and, and Medellin, like I said, they don't even interested to get along with Cartagena, Bogota, you know, like, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of cities in Colombia, they always trying to flex. Like they are the best city in Colombia with the best technology, with this, with this and that. They also believe like they are better, you know, than the capital, that the Medellin is most important than the capital. So that's where you guys, you know, had to see and trying to figure out like, hey, like don't, like, don't expect like all the locals is going to, they're going to give you a high, you know, they're going to love you. All of that because it won't be like that. They already think like they are the best Colombians, that they are Spanish is the best. So, you know, yeah. Just got to do what you got to do and deal with what you got to deal. Don't be depressed, you know, like you go over there to have a great time with the girls. Do what you got to do. But, you know, you have to be be careful, like I say, you know, like. So that's the current situation in Medellin, Colombia. And I already say this before. So April's like Cartagena, Medellin, Bogota, they're going to be the April, the hardest April to pass. So you got to make sure like your phone is clean about all of this about women and stuff like that because for that you know they can't send you back to your country like it was the case you know for these two american citizens and you know and sad because it was a black one you know one of the brothers you know there this is the sad part because i know Colombians and i know the culture and i know what they're gonna say because they're gonna say oh you know like that's reason you know they're gonna blame the past bros you know all of that because you will know and i know like past bro is a group like about you know just you know black brother but uh black brothers you know all of that so that's what they gonna say you know that's that that's the bad thing that's a really bad thing about that but you know also you know i want to clarify it's not racist because a lot of people can feel oh you know they're racist with that no because colombia is a ton of black people in colombia this is not about racist this is about a war you know a war with the government and a lot of rich colombians that's what you guys behind the screen had to understand mayor ain't doing this by himself he got a lot of powerful people behind that telling them hey we don't want this we don't want that because that's how it works in colombia you know what i mean and for him to do for him to make like all these moves you know stuff like that he got it he need to have like some partners you know what i mean because this is something like actually you know can hold the economy all of that so they can be ready to feast to help to help people you know to help like business owners with that happen but like i say you know you guys gotta be very very be careful the girls you hang out with you know make sure they they are you know legal age you know all of that because like i think like the government they just waiting on people to make a mistake so they can do dirty things to so their profile you know all of that i also think like they should investigate deep 
people they just shouldn't that they they shouldn't be just expelled from Colombia just because they are suspicious this just because you know they are paying like for a service that's still it's legal in my country you know this is still legal I think that they got to focus on the words but you know like they decide first to probably you know focus on the consumers first you know I, I don't I don't know I don't know but you know this is how things you know sometimes works in Colombia they focus first you know on the one that could, that are consumers of this service and then they're gonna take care of the one that provide this service you know after but i also think like i said you know like they they doing hard and they won't get up like the mayor already said they're doing their best they're doing their best you know to clean out medellin all of that and they will i honestly think they will because like i said it's a lot of powerful people behind all of this and y'all gotta be ready for what is coming i also you know in some point like you know like brothers you know y'all make some of y'all like j like make a lot of noise man like you could enjoy this better you could enjoy what's a lot to enjoy in colombia you only enjoy like 10 percent you know, it's still a lot to enjoy, but now it's gonna be hard because like I always say, for safety, security, technology, I will always recommend Cartagena, Barranquilla, Medellin, Bogota, Cali, you know, all the, the all the cities, you know, and I I, I, I I haven't been to a lot of those cities, but I know like for safety, you know what I mean? For safety, more technology for foreign, you know, stuff like that. I always recommend like those kind of city because they are kind of like the one that had the more equipment. Probably, you know, they uh, probably Bogota, Medellin, they are not very 100% safe of rain, you know, talking about the result, you know, the statistic, but, you know, like has the one with a lot of technologies, probably equipments, you know, like the uh, foreigners need to have. But like I say, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they just make a lot of noise. And this is what we got now, you know, the mayor is becoming like, your biggest enemies, you know, also he's helping, you know, United States is helping them to call, you know, all these people involved in this. But like I say, you know, also, you know, I, I'm agree with that, you know, anybody with dirty background, you know, all of that are coming to Colombia that they are make sure like these people, this person, you know, is involved in something like that. Yeah, they deserve to be caught, you know what I mean? They deserve to be sent back, you know, the poor, you know, to the United States or to any other country. You know what I mean? But that's like I say, you know, this is uh, kind of sad because probably, you know, if you use this as uh, suspicious, you know, they also can be like, they were trying to like send you back also, you know, and stuff like that. So guys, 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 you know, like it's a wrap, you know, well, it's not a wrap yet, but now like a lot of people, you know, they're going to hold the horse, you know, before they come into Colombia acting like they were acting, you know, doing what they were doing, the noise that they were making. Because what's the noise, you know, like the... <clears throat> that may you know colombia you know like uh, uh um get alert you know all of that you know what i mean was all this noise so also you know like people were losing their life you know stuff like that but like i said you guys gotta be very 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 be careful in medellin now you know things are getting hard like i say even if you they realize you've been paying for that just because they prohibit that you can't be a spell a spell a spell from the country you can be kicked out from the country just for paying for that. So, guys, that was all, all I want to bring you today. That was all. So, I hope you guys like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here, you know, every day. Uh, none of this would have been possible without you all watching me behind the screen. You know what I mean? And all I can say is that. Also, if any day, any time, any moment you guys come into Cartagena, Colombia, don't forget to hit me up because I own a tourist company. We offer tours like Mumbocano, Palenque, Private Boats, Private Jazz, you know, ATBs, all of that. If you need somebody to show around, you know, I also can do that. Also, you guys can follow me on ID like CTG Connection. That's the name of my company. I'm going to do a poll also. My PayPal information, if you guys want to show me some logo here, but I'm not begging for money. That was all for today. This was your boy, Carlos. The Colombian guy, boom!